Kia ora guys, and thank you for tuning in for another lockdown lesson. Today we're going to introduce the double haul. Now, the double haul is simply a technique for further increasing your line speed, but it's not for everyone. Before I start teaching the double haul, I always like to have a look at my client's casting stroke to ensure that it's straight enough, crisp enough, and tight enough to generate enough line speed into the back cast to enable you to shoot line into the back cast, because that is how the double haul works. You need to be able to get your hand so back together between the back cast and the forward cast. Now, if you have a lazy back cast, and quite simply, your hands aren't going to get back together. So the way to improve this is simply think with your right hand only. Depress the wrist, relax your hand, think lift, 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 snap. Lift, 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 crisp. Lift, 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 snap to a stop. Set it up to the back cast, send it up and over the rod tip. Accelerate, keep it straight, and use a delayed rotation with a nice crisp stop. Now to the double haul. Now there are numerous ways of teaching the haul, but the way I tend to prefer personally is Mel Krieger's pantomime technique. Now, I believe that most fly casting techniques can be taught very efficiently without a fly rod by teaching people how to use the hand, the arm, and the body to build muscle memory to repeat the stroke. And then once you pick up your fly rod, those simple techniques are ingrained. As long as you don't change anything, you will make it work. Now, let's go back to our initial pantomime casting stroke from the first lockdown lesson we had in 2020. With a hand out by our side, just think lift, 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 snap, chop, and drop. Lift, 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 snap, chop, and drop. Practice that until you get the feel for it, until it becomes second nature again, and then we'll introduce the haul. Now, I find that introducing the haul as you begin your stroke is very easy for people to learn. It also means that you're not as likely to bounce the rod tip throughout the stroke, and you're not as likely to jerk into the haul as you go into your rotation throughout the stroke. However, I prefer to teach it later on in the stroke when the rod is passing through its maximum flex. I generally teach beginners as we begin our rotation, begin the downstream haul, and for more advanced anglers, as the rod tip passes through the perpendicular and is at a most flexed state, begin the haul. Now work with me, back to our pantomime casting stroke. Think lift, 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 snap, chop, and drop. Lift, 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 snap, chop, and drop. Now we're gonna introduce our line hand. We're just gonna follow along for the initial stages, the loading phase of our stroke, and as we move into our rotation, we're gonna do a short, sharp, down, up. Imagine you're bouncing a basketball, touching a hot pan, just simply bouncing. It's not down and then up, because you've lost control of that basketball and your teammates are jeering you from the sideline. It is simply bounce, bounce, bounce. Your hand bounces downwards and straight back. Just think with me. Lift, 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 bounce, 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 bounce. Down up, down up. That's how easy learning the fundamentals of the hall can be. However, there are a few other techniques for progression which I, which I tend to move with people so that there's not such a large sort of uh, learning curve. Now that we've got the pantomime technique and the feel for the hands moving together, we're going to pick up our fly rod. And with rod hand only, we're going to perform some nice, clean, effortless loops. Once you're happy with the way they're looking, introduce your line hand, but do not touch the line. We're going to phantom haul, just pantomime along with it, simply getting used to using your line hand and rod hand working together without changing the dynamics of your loops. We're not going to cast any harder with the rod hand, we're not going to widen our casting arc, we're not going to change our timing. I want those loops to stay exactly how they are when I'm casting right hand only. If you do notice any change, drop back down a step, go back to your pantomime without the rod, and build that muscle memory. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Bounce, 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 bounce. Looking good? Now you can try and hold the line and work with that. Relax your hand. Think slow and heavy with the rod hand and zippy with your haul. Haul from the elbow rather than the entire shoulder. Hauling right across the body like this is like to introduce slack or has a nice crisp bounce. It's going to be short, sharp, straight and increase your line speed exponentially. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up and shoot. Congratulations, that's the fundamentals of the double haul. Now for a lot of people that don't pick up fly casting through pantomime, there are other ways, particularly for those who need to see and do. So check this out.
Okay, so ground casting is another exceptional fly casting tool. It allows you to send your back cast out there and stop, let it lay down. You get to consider how your loops looked, where your back cast landed, is it straight? You get to really play with your stroking, slow it down as much as you want and speed it up as much as you want and have a look at the effects in real time. I particularly like teaching the double haul via crown casting because people can slow things down and check the key points. First of all, I make my cast. Drag, 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 turn it over. Firstly, are my hands back together on the back cast? Yes. You don't want any slack line between your line hand and the first ring on your rod. That means that you've rushed your, uh, your upward haul or you haven't got enough line speed in your back cast to suck that line back through. Secondly, did my loops look good? Have they changed since I introduced the haul? No, I think they look pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Thirdly, is the back cast nice, tight and straight? Yes. Congratulations, that's my back haul. Now forward cast, drag, 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 down up. Again, my hands made it back together my loops looked pretty good, and my line is landing out there straightening where it needs to be. Now what I can do is continue that until it becomes natural. Play with my timing. Again, you'll notice in that last video clip, I had two targets out there, and on my back cast, I would not rotate until my rod tip passed the backpack. Snap. My forward cast, I would drag, 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 drag until the rod tip passed the water bottle. Snap. They are also the keys for introducing the hull. Thinking drag, 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 down up. Drag, 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 drag. Down up. Delaying the rotation means that the hull does not flex the rod as deeply as it could if I started my hull throughout the stroke, which means that every movement, every inch of my hull is translating directly into line speed, which is what we want. If you need assistance in bending that rod deeper, you should look at your casting stroke and go back to number one of the 2001 series, how to increase your line speed. Now, Finally, once you get the feel for ground casting, sending a back cast down, letting it rest, and a forward cast down and letting it rest, let's try a couple of casting cycles. Down up, down up, down up, down up, without letting it lay down. Once you feel 10 feet dull and bulletproof, pull it more up to the vertical and see how that looks, see how that feels, and see how that performs. If it's good, you're double hauling. If you feel you could do with some more work, drop it back down again and work on your timing, your technique, the length and speed of your haul. Now as a basic guide, short cast, short haul, longer cast, longer haul. I also like hauling parallel to the blank. On my back cast, I'm hauling in that direction. On my forward cast, I'm hauling in that direction. That way I'm hauling straight down through the guides rather than pulling off at a right angle to my guide when a wet or gritty line can create friction, slow down line speed and pull my rod tip off its nice straight tracking. Hey, there's quite a bit to the haul to learn, but it's very simple. It's kind of like rubbing the belly and tapping the head. The more you do it, the more you practice it, the better and more natural it will get. Now I'm Chris Dorn, I hope this was helpful. Take care. Cheers.